it starts with the most basic, with the the Wall Street Journal, and uh, and I take the subway to work every day, and I'm trying to read on my iPad or my iPhone. Uh, the Wall Street Journal, if time remains, I'll look at, uh, at the Times and the business section in the Times. Frankly, the Post breaks a lot of news stories, uh, particularly I work in the retail space, and so it's also uh, sometimes an interesting source of information. The Economist is excellent for deep dives into certain, uh, into certain topics, and uh, certainly if you work in international uh, finance, the Financial Times is another source that is uh, absolutely critical. There are so many other sources, though, that are on-demand live that you know are available on the internet. You obviously need to be discerning with not spending too much of your time trying to take in information. It becomes impossible to synthesize it at some point. So find your go-to trusted sources. But certain touchstones like the journal, you need to be aware of because your clients are probably reading publications like that. And if you're behind, you'll, you'll seem less relevant to your clients.